guys, I am Rebecca and these are my reviews and today I have this very simple, easy peasy, lightweight summer makeup that I'm going to just show you guys how I do my makeup like every day. <laughs> this is what I do when I want to look a little more put together but I'm not going all out with makeup and I like to keep it super lightweight in the summer because I'm hot and I don't want goo all over my face, you know what I'm saying? In the winter, I love to pack it on. Right now, not so much. So, all right, if you wanna see how I got this look, just keep watching. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. Obviously, my hair is up in a little twisty thingamajig here. Um, I am going to spray my face with this Cosmetics Mystic Hydrating Treatment. I love this stuff. It has, there we go. Okay, it has witch hazel in it which I feel helps to cleanse my skin because I don't actually wash my face in the morning. I only wash it at night. So I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. I'm also going to apply an eye cream. It's like the really only must. Um, oh, an SPF. My tinted moisturizer has SPF in it, but um, if it's only like an SPF 20, so in, if I know I'm gonna be out in the sun, then I definitely apply a an additional SPF of some sort. I'm still like testing some out. I don't have a favorite at the moment. Um, okay. And this is just the, the sample that I got in my Ipsy from 111 Skin, but you know, whatever eye cream I have handy, it doesn't matter, I go through so many of them. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be using the Jouer Luminizing Moisture Tint. I love this stuff. I am in the shade Pearl, which I think is actually a little bit fair for me right now, but that's okay. This isn't super high coverage, uh, which is what I like about it. It feels very lightweight. It is hydrating. It has skincare ingredients in it. It does have a little bit of luminosity, which helps with um, all of my melasma. If I have breakouts, then I prefer to go with more of a matte foundation or tinted moisturizer. Jouer does have a matte one. Um, okay, and then I'm just using my Artise brush because it's the best brush in the whole world to blend this out. You could do it with your fingers, but I don't know, I'm not very good at that. Like every time I blend it in with my fingers, it just looks patchy and streaky. Yeah, this color's a little bit fair, but it will oxidize. And like I said, it's kind of sheer. So my normal skin tone will show through. And the other tinted moisturizer type thing that I love is the It Cosmetic CC Cream, but that one is more full coverage and it's just a bit heavier. And in the summer when it's super hot, I just, I don't like putting things on my face, you know? I'm gonna keep it super lightweight. So I really like the Jouer one most of the time, unless I'm gonna be doing, you know, more of a full face of makeup. But like today, I'm just gonna be running some errands and then later this evening we are going to my son's school for a Lego party or something weird like that. I don't know, I have like a cat hair stuck on my nose. I can see it. Oh my God. Okay, anyway. Okay, so you can see super light coverage. It's like hardly anything there, but it does sort of help blur things. And it's, you know, like I said, it has a little bit of SPF in it. Where the heck is my concealer? Oh, here it is. Okay, so for concealer, if you have really dark, like purple bags or something like that, I would go in with a bit of a corrector rather than just concealer. Um, mine aren't that bad today and I'm not gonna go crazy with the concealer. I just wanna use a tiny bit cause you know, I need it. <laughs> and I'm just doing it under my eyes. I'm not doing like the whole highlighting the face thing. And I'll take this over my eyelids too. Cause my eyelids are really veiny. I'm not a fan of that. I'm gonna put a little around my nose too. My nose is always red. Always. Well, right now I have a little bit of a cold and I always have allergies and... Okay. All right, that's good enough. Okay, and then I am going to bronze my face. In the summer, that's like, you know, if you're gonna do anything, bronze, especially because I'm always wearing SPF. I don't have an actual tan. I have a lot of melasma, but I don't have an actual tan. And this just helps you to look, you know, glowy and, and bronzy and, and sunny. My 
feel like, you know, oh, plus this butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. If you guys have never used this, it smells freaking amazing. This is like summer in a bronzer. I love this stuff. And I'm just taking it like on the tops of my cheeks, all over my cheeks, all over my freaking face, top of my forehead, you know, so I look like, like I've been out in the sun. Back before I had kids, I had a convertible. <laughs> And my forehead was always so tan. It looked ridiculous. I'll put it on my nose too. This color isn't super dark, so I can go crazy with it and build it up, but you know, I don't have to be light handed with it, which I appreciate. Um, because as you can see, I'm just kind of going sloppily crazy all over. Okay, and then my blush, this one is Peach Bellini from Julep. This is one of my favorite blushes of all time. I love this. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it, and it's just a beautiful peach. And I'm just using that same brush that I applied my bronzer with and tapping that on the apples of my cheeks so I look rosy and happy and youthful. This is also a good one to put on your eyes. I use blush on my eyes all the time. It works, it works great. And I have hazel eyes, so when I use like a pinky color, it brings out the green in my eyes and looks really pretty. Um, today I'm actually gonna use my Kat Von D palette. I have so much makeup that I really like to just switch it up and use different products all the time, so nothing feels left out. So I'm just using this pink color, it's kind of a shimmery pink, and I'm just using my finger to tap that on just the like movable part of my lid. Um, and that will just like brighten up my eyes. I'm not going crazy. Most of the time I don't even put anything like in my crease. I don't feel the need. But if you do, you know, you could do that too. It's just super, super simple. I think I will just kinda, I'm not even gonna put anything on this brush. I'm just gonna blend that out a tiny, Smidgen, and voila, that's my eyeshadow. Um, so, I already have pretty dark eyebrows. I'm not even gonna put anything in them. I, I was gonna put some brow gel in them, but I feel like if I do, it's going to look too dark. So I'm just gonna comb them so that they're not all crazy messy. I could go in with like a clear gel, I suppose, but I am too lazy for that. Okay. I am going to use the world's most fabulous mascara. This is from YSL and this is the purple one, number four. I love this stuff. This mascara is amazing. I had the black one for a while too, also amazing. But I have other really fabulous black ones and this is the best purple one I've tried. I tried the Marc Jacobs, didn't like it. Tried the one from Sephora, didn't like it. This one I love. And it doesn't, it doesn't stand out as being a purple mascara, like you don't really notice it, but it just makes my eye color pop like crazy. Plus the formula is just lengthening and volumizing, and I love it, love it, love it. And I don't really feel like I have to use a primer with this one, you know? So many mascaras, I really feel like I have to use a primer to make them look worthy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, one day I was rushing to get ready to take the kids to school and I was using my L'Oreal, the double-ended one that's the tubing mascara, and I freaking stabbed myself right in the eye with the primer, like right in the middle of my pupil. I don't even know how I did that. And it hurt so badly and my eyes were watering all day. I had to go work at the kids' school, so I was there. And then the next day, my husband made me go to the eye doctor. And I went, and they're like, yeah, sure enough, you, uh, you scratched your eye there, but it's already healing, it should be better in the next couple of days. And it was, it was fine. I'm not gonna put eyeliner on because I'm lazy. I don't feel like it. Um, but a lot of times I feel like I look weird without eyeliner. So if I do want to look extra pretty, I will add eyeliner. But today, I don't really care. Okay, I got my mascara on. All right, now for lips, um, I am going to use this duo. This is Boys Town, I think is what this color is. 
yeah, Boys Town lip liner from ColourPop, and then this is also from ColourPop. This is a lip gloss in the color Catalina, and I love this color so much. So throughout the day, I do not reapply my lip liner. I just put it on the first time because I feel like my upper lip especially gets kind of erased by the tinted moisturizer. So basically just redefining my lip. Ah, got a little crazy there. It's all right. I have extra large lips today. I love ColourPop lippies. They're so good and they're so inexpensive, especially if you get them on sale. I always just wear like tinted lip balms or like a sheerish gloss during the summer because I really like hydrated lips. Like I feel like matte lips are best for winter. I love a good matte lip, but I really, just in the summer, my lips get so dry and I feel like everything just looks better, you know, hydrated and plump. So, you know, I'll just throw this in my purse and not worry about relining my lips um, or, you know, another tinted lip balm. I just, like switch lip colors so often throughout the day because first, first of all, I have like 40 different ones in my purse, you know, and I'll just grab the most convenient one, the one that's still in my pocket from yesterday, the one that's sitting on the top of my desk. So anyway, this is it, that's it, that's the whole look. So simple, so easy, lightweight. There's not a whole lot on my skin, which is nice. I don't feel like, you know, I can't, touch my skin. If your makeup does tend to wear off throughout the day, I would say definitely powder. And I know that I do that a lot if I'm going to be gone all day. You know, like this isn't just for a couple of hours. This is an all day event that I'm going to be gone. And then I go, I will go in and powder. So I've been using this one that I got in my BoxyCharm like a week ago. This is from Bare Minerals. I love this stuff, you guys. It's so nice. It just, it's just so nice. It doesn't feel heavy or cakey on my skin at all and it really does just blur everything and make my skin look beautiful and flawless and it helps my makeup stick around a little bit longer. Um, the first time that I tried it, I used it with a setting spray and I didn't feel like it lasted very long at all. So then I tried it again without a setting spray and I felt like that really helped. And because this never looks powdery, I don't feel like you have to set it to, you know, Unless you really want to go back to a dewy look, you know, I don't, I don't feel the need to set this particular powder because it never looks powdery. It like doesn't look like there's anything on your face, but you can, you just, you can tell. It just, oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing and beautiful and I love it so much. And then I'll use the glowy side on the tops of my cheeks a little bit. This is totally an added step if you're going to be, you know, <laughs> If you just need that extra bit of wear time, really. I don't always do this. I used to have such beautiful skin and as I age, it gets worse and worse. <laughs> you know, I just look older, but also my melasma is so bad. And so a couple years ago, you know, like, I think it was when Jensen was probably about a year old, you know, right after I had kids, I was like, I've got to start using something. I never used to use foundation. I always felt like it looked weird on my face. And so I started using a tinted moisturizer. I started using the Aveeno tinted moisturizer, which is a really good one. I like that one a lot. Um, and even that felt so heavy to me at the time. And now I'm so used to wearing like full coverage foundation that a tinted moisturizer feels like I have nothing on my face. <laughs> so if you have beautiful skin, just wear sunscreen. Don't even bother with that step. But I still think you should wear bronzer because bronzer is beautiful. Bronzer just makes you look summery and, and good and lovely. And mascara, I made myself a promise. One year it was my New Year's resolution that I was going to wear mascara every day because I get lazy about it. I don't wanna have to wash it off, but I look a thousand times better with mascara. I just do, I just do. Okay, anyway, um, enough rambling. Okay, so that is it for my makeup. I'm gonna go quickly do something with my hair and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just blow dried my bangs and then put the rest up in there. But that's it, that's the finish. Looks so easy and so summer appropriate because it's very lightweight. And this is literally how I do my makeup 
pretty much every day. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this and found it useful or helpful or something, um, or at least enjoyable. I don't know. I always like watching people put makeup on. Anyway, leave me comments. Let me know your favorite easy peasy summer products that you like to use. Um, and that's about it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!